This video is going to detail a new radiant charger that I've designed and built and it borrows from existing concepts obviously as most electronics do but what I did is I combined two processes together and I think what I have here is one of the best radiant chargers for the home user this is something that anybody can build and that was my goal when I put this together I wanted to make something that people could build easily and what I did is I addressed some of the common issues with other radiant chargers uh, namely their reliability reliability can be a big issue when you're running an open circuit when you're not using a charging battery or if the charging battery becomes disconnected this is a very rugged circuit actually there's no way that it can burn up it can run all day with no charging battery so you'll never have to burn up a transistor again with this circuit what I've done is I've used an automotive spark module and this is a Bosch unit I actually have the same spark module on my car I've ran it for three years with a custom computer system and you cannot ruin this spark module this is a very durable spark module it puts out an incredible amount of radiant energy because it, it puts out a very very sharp square wave which is what you want so this is very well suited for a radiant charger now what's good about this is you can use an off-the-shelf transformer and that was my goal I heard a lot of questions and confusion about hand winding coils now this right here gets rid of that issue you can use an off-the-shelf transformer this is a microwave transformer so it's straight out of an old junk microwave I didn't do anything to it I just took it out it's a 1 ohm primary and that is what you want you want a very low ohm coil 1 ohm is actually a very low ohm coil and the lower the ohm the co on the coil the better the radiant charging so you want as low of ohm rating as possible on those coils now you don't have to build a coil here you do have to build one coil for the trigger circuit but there's no other circuitry other than one transistor and nothing here can fail because it's not linked to the radiant energy all of the radiant energy is absorbed here it has no path here and if it does come here which some of it may it's still not going to burn up any circuitry so this is a completely fail safe charger and it's made with mostly off the shelf parts so I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like when it's on I'll try not to shock myself like I did in the last video so I'm making a part two here because I shocked the heck out of myself on the last video okay so we're looking at about 2000 volts here and I'll show you what it looks like Okay, so that gives a really good shock when you grab onto it. I wouldn't advise grabbing onto it. So what you use is just a 12 volt source. Any 12 volt source will work. This works very, very well for hydrogen. Better than the other radiant charger that's in my YouTube video because this one, it has a very large winding and a very low ohm winding. Now another reason it works very well is because with this design you can hook the primary and the secondary together. So you just hook them in parallel right to your hydrogen unit. You only have to power the primary, but you take the radiant energy off of the off of the secondary and the primary through diodes. You just hook them together. Now if you want to scale this up, this is the best part. Grab another spark module. There's your other spark module and there's another spark module and what you would do is just keep adding microwave transformers which are one ohm coils which are amazing and they put out a lot of energy and they're basically free if you can find a junk microwave the spark modules are seven dollars at the junkyard so we're talking about very very low cost equipment here uh, the transistor is something you can get at Radio Shack these capacitors are AC capacitors out of an appliance so you can find those the only thing you have to make is a hand wound coil probably cost about twenty dollars to make this coil if you have some copper wire which you can always find copper wire on an old motor take the copper wire out uh, you only have to make uh, one coil by hand the rest is off the shelf parts this is one of the best chargers that I've ever used and I just wanted to share it with you guys I think it has a lot of potential 
and also considering that it's very rugged and you can run it all day long with no charging battery and nothing will burn up. In fact, I don't think you could burn this up. That's how tough it is. I've tried everything. I've never been able to make this circuit fail. So, just wanted to share that with you. And I really think that anyone can build this. I think it's easy to replicate. If you'd like to get the instructions, I put together a full schematic uh, wiring diagram with all of the details, all the resistor values, and the capacitor values, everything to make this identical circuit. I think you'll really enjoy it. If you want to go to my website, you can check it out. It's retali.com and slash ebooks. So go ahead and check it out. I have the instructions there. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop me an email off my website, retali.com. Well, thanks a lot for looking, guys.